Hey everyone, it's Mike, and thank you for taking action. Uh, your calculator is actually gonna be on its way to your email. Give it about five, 10 minutes. It should be in your inbox. Now, I wanted to create this video to really give you guys a short training on how to use this calculator. Again, it's always nice to get a new piece of software, a new tool to use, uh, but then it's like, okay, how do I use this thing? Okay, I wanna use it, I wanna use it quick, and I wanna get uh, to my results quick, but if you don't really know how to use the tool, um, you, know, you may not get that quick result you want, you get frustrated, and then you don't get the value, right? So in this short, short training, I just wanna quickly show you how to use this calculator so that way you can get the maximum benefit out of downloading it and having it. So let me give you a short run through on how we use this thing. So what you see here is basically uh, the spreadsheet and we're gonna input some data. Right now it's not showing us any tables or it's not showing us any information about a loan because we don't have any information in there. So when you crack this thing open, this is what it'll look like. It's just gonna be a blank sheet. And what we need to do is we need to populate this information here. So you can see these cells in column E that are um, kind of shaded. This is where you're gonna put in your information. So let's put in, uh, let's say we're talking about a mortgage here. Let's put it a $200,000 mortgage, okay? So we got $200,000 mortgage, that's gonna populate there. And then what is the interest rate of the loan? Okay, so let's put 6% in there and hit enter. Now what is the term of the loan? So again, with a, with a mortgage, we're typically looking at a 30 year term and it's asking for it in years. So make sure you put it in there in years, not months, okay? So 30 years. And then how many payments are made in a year? And typically you're gonna have 12 monthly payments, okay? And once you pop that in, Okay, once we pop in that information, you can see the rest of the amortization uh, uh, filled out. And so with these, if this was your mortgage, you'd be looking at a $1,200 roughly per month payment, uh, 360 payments, which is 30 years. And over the life of the loan, you're looking at $231,000 worth of interest on this particular loan. Okay, and you can scroll down and see, you know, how the balance, you know, tr you know, slowly goes down, and you know what we're trying to avoid. You see the the column K where that cumulative interest. You just see over the years, you just slowly get raked over the coals um, in interest, and you know this two hundred thousand dollar property ended up costing you over four hundred thirty one thousand dollars at six percent over thirty years. So we want to be able to use techniques to save some of that money. You know, if we can pay off this mortgage and save two thirds of that interest or more, right, and keep it, right, instead of bleeding that money out and just giving it to the banks, okay, we want to use the right strategies to where you can save some of that interest and reinvest it into yourself, uh, into your retirement, or even into your business, okay? And so here's how you would do that. So let's say you wanted to see what your mortgage would look like if you were gonna do a strategy like bi-weekly payments, okay? And typically with bi-weekly payments, what you're doing is you're making a half payment essentially every two weeks. And since there are 52 weeks in a year, that's 26 half payments, which would be 13 total payments that you end up making in a year. So in this scenario, it'd be like sending in an extra 1200 bucks over the course of the year. And so to quickly see how bi-weekly payments would help you, to see how uh, bi-weekly payments would help you pay off this uh, calculator, you could just pop in here, um, extra payments every month of $100, right? Because 100 times 12 would be uh, $1,200, which would be the extra payment uh, that's being made every year by doing bi-weekly payments. So we'd pop it in right there, okay? And what it shows us is it does save us some time on the mortgage, okay, to pay this off. So having a bi-weekly payment, you're able to actually save yourself almost 50 grand in interest, okay, just under $50,000. You went from 231.6 down to 182. Okay, so all again, almost $50,000 worth of interest saved by doing bi-weekly payments. So again, you'll be able to see that quickly and easily. Uh, from there, let me go back. You know, let's say you're using a method like Velocity Banking where you're gonna be leveraging a, a second position HELOC or you're leveraging perhaps a uh, unsecured line of credit, maybe a zero interest credit card to do a chunk where you're gonna do a big chunk payment and bring it over to the line of credit. From there, you're gonna use the Velocity Banking strategy itself where you're sending all of your income to the line, all your expenses go on the line. We have a budget in place where you have positive cash flow. I gotta emphasize this. 
the only way to pay down principal is to pay down principal, okay? So in order to do any type of debt reduction strategy, you must have positive cash flow. So you need to have a budget, you need to have more money coming in than you're spending every single month. And if that's the case, your line of credit will go down by your positive cash flow number every single month. So to see how chunking would work here, you wouldn't put it in the extra optional payment because that's gonna apply extra money every single month or on, on every single payment. To put in your chunks, you would put these, uh, to apply chunks, you would put them down in column F here, okay? So let's say day one, you're walking into your mortgage and you're gonna put down, you know, let's say you got a 30,000, this is a, a case study from one of my students. Uh, they were ready to go, bought a property, and walked into this thing, immaculate credit, almost 800 credit score, $30,000 line of credit, and they were able to do a $25,000 chunk right away onto zero interest for 24 months. It was huge, okay? And if you're able to do something like that here, you know, let's pop, just pop that in here. So you put your extra chunk payment right in here and let's call it a $25,000 chunk, okay? And again, if you had that size of a line of credit and were able to do this, look at what that move just did to your interest. By simply taking that chunk and bringing it over to the line. Now, yes, okay, I obviously want zero interest here if possible, but you're gonna deal with interest there, but that's besides the point. Let's, let's talk about that uh, later. We deal with that, we have a strategy for that. But if you look, we just reduced the life of the interest on this loan from 231.6 down to 139. You've almost, just making that move, just pulling it over, just saved you almost $100,000, 93 grand worth of interest over the life of this loan. Okay, and now depending on your positive cash flow number, you're gonna wanna knock that down uh, as quickly as possible. So if you got 25 grand down there and let's say you got 24 months at zero interest and let's say you had a positive cash flow number of about $1,100, you'd be able to pay down that entire balance in about 24 months or so. And so, you know, count this down, let's go 24 months in advance. So let's, so let's go two years into the future here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay? And if we had a cash flow number of roughly 1,100 bucks, you'd be able to knock this balance down over the course of these two years, and you'd be able to go ahead and grab another chunk. And so this is where, you, where you'd wanna go ahead and apply the chunk. So again, it depends. The next chunk happens when your positive cash flow number knocks down the balance on the line of credit, okay? So once that's again down to zero, in this case, it took about two years to do so, we can now do another chunk. And so if I popped in another $25,000 chunk, okay? Again, just look at what we've done with the interest, okay? Um, so on month 25 of your loan, right? Um, you've reduced the overall interest on this loan from 231.6 all the way down to 94 grand. So by making these two chunks, we've literally saved almost 140,000 off the life of this loan. You've saved yourself 156 payments. That's almost 10 years off the life of the loan already. And we've only made a couple of chunks here and um, we're only a couple of years in. So again, minus, so huge savings, you know, minus whatever uh, interest is charged on this line of credit. But again, if we're playing this game right, uh, lining up our zero interest offers and again, playing this game right, we can avoid or minimize interest charged here and 99.9% .9 of the time, and uh, I, I want to say 100, but I, I can't. 99.9, .9, uh, you know, whatever interest you're being charged over here is going to pale in comparison, okay, to what was saved on this side of it. And in this scenario right here, almost 140 grand with two big chunks, that's a huge savings. And again, you would just run those numbers again and slowly but surely uh, pay this property off in literally a fraction of time. Let's go another two years, let's assume the same cash flow of about 1100 bucks. So we knocked this down in 24 months. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Let's go ahead and make another chunk. Boom. Gosh, and we were just reducing. I mean, that saved you 25 grand, 24 grand in interest just saved. Again, just by moving it over. 
Again, yeah, we got interest to deal with here, but it's always going to, it's going to pale in comparison. And especially at the beginning of a loan, right? As you can see, you know, the, the savings, yeah, it's 25 grand. 25 grand is 25 grand. That's, we, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, 25 grand is 25 grand. I mean, would you rather have that 25 grand or give it to the bank? Uh, we would rather have that. So, but obviously the chunks at the beginning were huge, uh, big time savings. So earlier the mortgage, the better on these chunks, but certainly we're gonna realize savings all the way through. And if your goal is to just eliminate this mortgage in the fastest way possible, Velocity Banking is a fantastic strategy uh, that has worked for thousands of people and uh, hundreds of, of my students and uh, folks in my network. So either way, this calculator is, is an awesome tool. Uh, you can put any kind of loan in here, uh, see how chunk payments will affect it, see how bi-weekly payments will affect it, see how just sending in additional cash flow will affect your loans. And, and again, you want to, I, I believe we're gonna have this locked where you guys can't mess with the formulas. You wanna leave these formulas alone. As you can see it up in here, it's kind of a long uh, deal. So you're gonna wanna leave these formulas in place. Hopefully I, we can figure out how to get this locked where you guys can't mess with it, except for the columns where you wanna enter your information on your loan. And then from there, what, how, what's your extra payment or chunk payment strategy? And you can pop that in there to see how quickly you can pay off your loans. So again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy the calculator. Have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next training.